This is going to be a quick tutorial on how to use LastPass and get the most out of it. I find it a very helpful tool. Let's start off by clicking on the LastPass icon up here. This little asterisk that's all dark, darkened. Now, when you click on that, it opens up and you enter in your master password. Now I have it set so that when LastPass opens, or when it when I activate it, it opens up what's called the LastPass Vault. That way I have access to all my websites and all my uh, all my. From here I'm going to show you how easy it is to get into various websites. This right here is where I have websites listed in mine. I have a subset that just says websites. That's my access. I click on that, opens that up. Now if I click on any one of these here, what that will do is that will open up that website. Let's try this one right here. Goes in the WordPress login page, and if you'll notice, it fills out and it logs me in. Very easy. I didn't have to do any thinking, I just clicked on it, and there we go. I'm going to log out of this site. <clears throat> if you'll notice up here, I have four total fills, different fills I can make for this one website. If you'll notice, here's the different, different accesses. And if you'll notice, it shows the different usernames. We'll never show you the password. Now, we want to change the password on one of these. We'll close this. Let's go back to this, that same website, one to like us. You go over here to this little pencil, and you click on it. And if you, here's where you can literally change the password. And if you'll notice, it says the last time I changed my password. The last path doesn't like that, but I have such hard pass, hard passwords plus the login names are not admin, uh, especially for WordPress sites, and even the login page is totally different on this particular site. <clears throat> but I can click on this here, this I icon, and it will open up the password here and show you what the password is. And it, you can change it, but this is, it's not advisable to change it here unless you've already changed it on the website. So I just click on that, just to keep it hidden. And once you change anything, now this is the name, how you're going to recognize it. This is the one to like us. This is the one that was in the left hand column that I click on. This is the username. This is the folder where I have it stored in. And of course, this is the password. All very, very simple. I click save and it saves any changes that I've made. This function here, being able to click on this item and be logged into. Now mind you, some of the some of the sites are set up and they don't log in automatically like that. Let's try this one badass org. And let's see if it logs in like that. It normally logs in, it'll fill it, but won't log in until I click log in. That's the way I like to set up. I don't want to set it up for auto login. All right. So that's pretty much pretty much it. There's not a whole lot with LastPass. It's real simple to use. Uh, Get you in and out of sites easy. Uh, here's publisher, you know. An unfair advantage. Let's try that one. Publishers are us. Field notice is logs in. Click login. And there we go. I'm in. And the other thing you can do if you have the page open like this and you see these little numbers right here in the asterisk, click on the asterisk. This opens up this little drop, this little box here. And from here you can either log in or fill it, that will fill it, or you can go click here and you go this little wrench here and you go to the edit page. 
which, or you go to this drop down page where you can edit things, copy user, password, URL, delete, etc. But here you want to go edit, and that brings you back to this page. So there's a couple ways you can get to this edit page. It's real simple. This is a great tool, save you lots of time.